Uh, there is no such thing as an off year, a thousand percent right. My name is Priscilla. I use she, her pronouns. I live in the great city of Milwaukee. I'd also be remiss if I didn't quickly say Bucks and Six because they're playing right now. Uh, and I am the Movement Politics Director for Citizen Action of Wisconsin. Uh, so just two weeks ago, we had an incredible night here in the state electing that pro pro-abortion and reproductive rights, pro-union judge to the state Supreme Court with Janet Protasewicz, her victory, the work of so many progressive organizations here on the ground is that first step in removing the many, many pieces that still remain of Scott Walker's terrible legacy. Uh, during Scott Walker's time as governor, he made really good use of that time from cutting the rights of workers and the rights of their unions to creating these shady backroom deals with groups like Foxconn that never had plans to fulfill promises, uh, his appointments and the elected officials that chose to work closely with him continue to make Wisconsin a less fair state, working solely for those wealthy and well-connected few instead of the very constituents that they represent. We saw it not only here in the state, but nationally. As the January 6th committee works to hold Wisconsin's fake electors accountable, those fake electors are still so proud of the work they did and continue to do. Just, just last year, they bragged about how much they were able to suppress Black and Brown Wisconsinites' votes. But that being said, let's talk about and celebrate what just happened two weeks ago and set the stage for what's going to be an eventful and exciting 2024. Uh, we knew early on that all eyes would be on the state Supreme Court race, especially coming off of a devastating Senate loss in 2022. This was going to be our best chance to flip the court from a conservative to a liberal majority. The court wrapped up their gerrymandering, throwing out any and all versions of anything close to fair maps. They had been strong in upholding Wisconsin's 1849 ban as the as Roe got overturned. Uh, and since the next court race in 2025 is a liberal judge up for re-election, this was our chance right now. Candidates that made it through the primary, Janet Protasewicz on our side, and Scott Walker's buddy Dan Kelly on the other, uh, set the stage. This race was going to be about abortion and reproductive rights. Every week as we would deep canvas on the doors and the phones, we would hear voters talk about abortion and health care and what it meant to them, how frustrated they were that Dan Kelly did not agree with any exceptions to abortion. Our deep canvas model, where we listen to voters instead of just throwing talking points at them, gave us a chance to hear stories across the state. Uh, one example that I really, really want to share uh, was that a voter who had always voted consistently conservative, but was hesitant to do so this time because of Dan Kelly's stance on abortion and his overall character. Um, after our volunteer had a conversation with them, they decided to vote for Janet. You know, they didn't fully agree with her stance on abortion. They knew that they could not vote for Dan Kelly's stance against it. But that's how Wisconsin flipped. These real conversations, treating voters, they are people first, since they are people, and listening to them, bringing them in without judgment. And that's how we build power across the state. We allow people to express and think through their values without judgment. And it's hard sometimes, it's emotional work. And yeah, there's times where you just wanna shout, please vote the way I want you to vote, please. But that's again, that's not how we build power. We build power by listening, by showing voters that they have a say beyond their vote. They can run for office, they can volunteer, they can campaign manage it, they can call their legislature, both the good and the bad, and hold them accountable. And we can't just do this during the big years, during those midterms, presidentials. We have to do it during these odd off years and all year round. It's how we show voters that they are more than voters, that they're people. I don't ever want to just have 
conversation with somebody because I want them to vote a specific way. I want to talk to them now in May and June when the governor and the legislature are working on the state budget in August when schools when went back to school that we can talk about what funding of public schools looks like and should look like in December when the weather gets cold and the energy companies are trying to figure out how to make heating as hard as possible for residents. And of course, these odd off years are also a great time to look ahead. So let's talk about 2024 and beyond. First things first, a Janet win does mean that we can get new maps. It also means that Dan Kelly will not have a chance to decertify the 2024 presidential results in Wisconsin when a Republican does not win because they're not going to. We can throw out these gerrymandered districts, have real competitive races across the state, the way that races were meant to be in the first place. Plain and simple, we need more progressive folks to step up and get involved to fill those seats, to run, to campaign manage, to help get candidates across the line. Uh, only did we see that big statewide victory. We also saw a great down ballot ones. Is, uh, Wisconsin future is a lot brighter, not only because of what happened on April 4th, just two weeks ago, but because of folks like MVP and all of you on this call and your continued support. Our program is sustained by MVP and thousands of small dollar donations across the country. And because we have, because that we haven't had to stop because just because the election cycle is over, we've been been hitting doors and phones with our deep canvas for gathering support for a state budget that includes badger care and getting ready to make sure that that budget includes things that are actually going to help Wisconsinites. So thank you all so much for being, for listening, for celebrating, for continuing to stay invested in the work that we do because of great leaders like MVP. We still have more work to do in Wisconsin, of course, but we're one step closer because of what just happened two weeks ago. Can't wait to see all the other victories that we're going to talk about tonight here on the call and everybody else who's up too. I'm excited to celebrate as you get the movement politics folks elected. Uh, if you're thinking for running for office, you're becoming a campaign manager, invest, donate. I can't wait to celebrate and support all of you. We don't need to wait for that midterm or presidential year. We can do it right now.